want to say thank you to Colonel Boltz because it's a real honor to me to be introduced so nicely by someone I respect so much. Welcome everyone. Family, friends, it means so much to our family to have all of you here today. Thank you so much for coming. A few days ago, when it was decided that a special person in my life might have something special to say to all of you today, I was asked to be the person to introduce my husband at today's gathering. I looked at Mark, and he looked at me, and I said, are you sure you want me to do this? <laughs> that was, of course, a very loaded question. So here I am, and here's what I have to say about Mark Begich. I first met Mark over 20 years ago. His brother, Tom, introduced us. We were at a park dedication on Government Hill. We said a few words, and I thought, he's a really nice guy. A few months later, I saw him again at the tree lighting ceremony downtown, and I thought, oh, there's that Mark Bagich again. He's kind of cute. <laughs> later that night, we were both out dancing with separate groups of friends at the same dance club. He asked me to dance, and I, being a Bartlett girl, was very glad to see he had the moves. <laughs> He was a good dancer, another plus in the plus column. Later that week, he called and asked me to dinner. About 45 minutes into our meal, I really, truly stopped hearing what he was saying, and all I could see was the brightness pouring out of his eyes. I think I knew at that moment that this was the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Aww. 20... <laughs> 20 plus years later, I don't remember all the details of that conversation, but we, were t but we were telling each other about our lives. He was telling me that his father had passed away when he was young. He was explaining how he was helping his mom with her business. He was talking about some hard lessons they had learned because we were just coming out of the recessions in the 1980s then. But he was very, very optimistic about the future and how things were going. He was talking too much, like he sometimes does, because he seems to know so darn much. But I just remember how struck I was with his commitment to his mother, his work ethic, and the level of passion and optimism that just poured out of him. Those of you who've worked with Mark to solve problems know exactly what I'm talking about. He knows how things work, he can talk the details, and he works really hard. But Mark's real gift is that passion, that commitment, and that energy that just literally shines through and energizes people and communities to effect change. I won't read you his resume or his list of accomplishments. That's what baggage.com is for. But I will say this. Mark Baggage is an agent of change who will put all of his energy, commitment, passion, and hard work to work for Alaska if he's given the opportunity to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, mom, dad, Peggy, all my extended family of brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews, I give you the man who continues to inspire me and who is a wonderful father to our son, Mark Bagich. Thank you. 